All right, so uh, this is the second video. I'm actually shooting this on the same day, so you know why I'm wearing the same thing. Uh, I'm shooting this because uh, my night class, Math Lab, does two lessons in one night. So just for my night class, you'll understand that both of these will be posted on the first night of your class, basically. Um, for my day class, so it doesn't get confusing, this would actually be your second day. So this will be posted, you're probably watching this on Tuesday, okay, the 31st of March. So, but basically, I, I'm, I'm not going to do that every video, introduce it that way. Uh, for one, uh, you guys would start throwing things at the computer. But uh, I also want to <clears throat> just kind of get you in the routine of how these will be going. But we are going to be moving into, now we're adding with decimals in the numbers. And not a drastically different change from just adding numbers without decimals. But there is a few things about the value and how you line them up. Because once you line them up, then everything else is the same. It's just, you know, with decimals, how do you line them up sometimes? But basically, any number that I write up here, so if I write the number 8, or if I write the number 702, or if I write the number uh, 100,552, uh, no matter what number I write up there, there's a couple things going on about them that uh, we don't see. They're kind of happening in the background. I always say math is its own language, and how we show that and express that is definitely comes to play here. But you will, as you go on in math, you're going to learn there's some more things there. For one, when you go on into pre-algebra and you learn about positive and negative numbers, because these don't have a negative in front of them, they are automatically positive. So this eight is positive, that means that there is a plus sign out in front of it. Now we don't write that, uh, we don't write that, you know, for just to write the number eight, but it is there. Where that comes in later is when you are doing negative numbers and positive and you're combining, if you have like a seven plus eight, that's a positive seven and a positive eight. Because later when you do seven, minus 8, that's a positive 7 and a negative 8. You break them apart. So just when there's an 8 written there, that means that there's a positive. Okay, it's, it's there, we just don't write it. Same thing with the 702, there's a positive. And the same thing with this one, there's a positive there. Another thing that's hidden that comes in when we get to fractions is there's a 1 over 1. Uh, all of these numbers, if I need to make them a fraction, are over 1 because all a fraction is, is the top number divided by the bottom. So eight divided by one is eight. So it's the same value. I didn't change the value at all. I just showed where the fraction is. And you say, well, why would you ever need to do that? Well, sometimes if I need to take eight minus a third, I can't do that unless I make this a fraction. Okay, and so I make this eight over one. And so that will come in later as well. So all of these numbers, I can make a fraction, but we don't do that every time. That would get, for one, that would get just your paper would look very confusing to have a positive and a one and all this. We don't need that for, for what we're doing. To just write the number eight, I just write eight. Well, the last thing that's kind of hidden there, um, actually not the last thing, there's exponents too, but the, another, the reason why I lead into this is we're going to be doing decimals. There's a decimal hidden there. If I told you to write eight on the board, you would write that. But if I said write eight dollars, it's the same value. If I say eight dollars, but most of you guys would walk up and put this. Okay, you'd put, you know, eight whole dollars, decimal, and no change. Well, that means that there is a decimal right at the end of any whole number. There's a decimal there. Now, the reason why we put two zeros is our money currency goes for two zeros dimes and pennies. But you, there's more than two zeros. You could write zeros forever at the end of that. But for right now, all we need to know is that there's a decimal right there at the end. So on this 702, it's right here at the end. Okay. For this 100,552, even though it's a long number and there's a comma in it, the decimal is right here at the end. So that's where the decimal goes when it's hidden, when it's not on the number. And you say, well, why, you know, why does that matter? Well, if I have a number, if I have a problem that says eight plus 
a dollar fifty two. I'm not just going to line these up like I did the previous problems and go, well, that's like a dollar fifty two plus eight. You know, the earlier problems we did when we had one hundred fifty two plus eight, that's how we lined it up. But that's not how we line up with a decimal. When you line up with a decimal, you have to line these up by the decimal. So you have to line up the decimals first. So going back to this, if I'm adding eight plus a dollar fifty-two, okay, I've got my eight, I've got my dollar fifty-two, and I'm going to go ahead and line it up because I know where it goes. But the decimal, if you remember, is at the end of eight. So I'm going to line my decimals up. Now, if you need to fill in these, you can so that you know you're adding zeros to these. You can do that. It definitely you have to do it when you go to subtract because you need to borrow. But for addition, it helps too. It helps you see that you are adding zeros to these other numbers. Okay, so when I go to add these, two plus zero, five plus zero, decimal comes straight down. That's why we line them up. And eight plus one is nine, okay? So that's where I'm lining up these by the decimals. Now it's easy when I've got two numbers that already have decimals in them. So if I'm doing like 7.8 plus 3.6, 7.8 plus 3.6. Well, both of them already have decimals. They in fact have them in the same spot, but that doesn't matter. But when I go to line them up, it's kind of easy when you see them already there. Okay, you just line up the decimals, 7.8, 3.6, 6 plus 8 is 14, carry my 1, 7 plus 3 is 10, plus 1 is 11, and my decimal came straight down. Okay, so 14, carry the 1, decimal comes straight down, 10 plus 1 is 11, 11.4. So when the decimals are already there, it's, it's kind of, it's, you know, it's easier to line them up because they already have a decimal. What becomes a challenge is, especially if one of them has a decimal and one doesn't. So let's say I'm adding, uh, let's say I'm adding 15 plus uh, 0.048. Okay, and you've got to add 15 plus 0 0.048. Well, you say, well, I'm going to line the 15 and the point. Nope, you're going to line up the decimals. So this one has a decimal. It's at the end of the 15. This one, the decimal starts here, and the 0, 048 comes after. And you've got to add these two up this way. And you say, well, what do I add to these numbers? Well, these can be zeros. If you need to see them, you can put them there. 8 plus 0, 4 plus 0, 0 plus 0, decimal comes straight down. And now you're adding zeros to these as well, 15. So it's 15.048. And what that means is you're taking 15 whole dollars and you're adding even less than 4 cents. You say, well, isn't that 48 cents? No, nope. 48 cents, the decimal would be here. And so you're adding 0 .048. And it doesn't always have to be money. This, this would be something that's not money. Although uh, we do have money, things that we do every day that has things beyond a penny. And you say, no, I only pay a penny for things or something. Gas, if you've ever noticed that when you go to a gas station, uh, like right now, it's kind of great because gas may be like a dollar eighty, or let's say a dollar eighty one, and you see this little nine written up here on the gas station. That nine is not just a magic number, or it's not just in, it's not, it means something, it has value. What they've done to make it not look as bad is they took the nine that was here and made it smaller but you're paying nine-tenths of a penny for every gallon of gas. You say, well, that's not very much. Well, every gallon of gas, though, you're paying almost an extra penny. It's just short of an extra penny. So, you know, 10 gallons of gas, you've almost paid 10 cents more. And you say, well, that's not a lot, but think about how many times you get gas and think about how many people get gas. So every, you know, let's say every week, you're giving an extra dollar. Well, multiply that by however many people come in and get gas. So it does make a difference, but all that is is an extra number beyond that penny. So it has value and it fits into these things that you're going to be adding things beyond the what we're used to money decimals, okay?
All right, let's keep going just a little bit. I want to also bring up that, um, you know, no matter how many zeros are after a decimal, there's no value to them. So if I have 89, and I, it's a whole number, and I know there's a decimal there. If I put zeros here, I'm not changing the value whatsoever. That's still 89 whole dollars or whatever you're counting. It's still 89. As soon as I put a number, then that one has value. I, these zeros now have value because that's different than this. Okay, this is a different value than this. So now these zeros have value because I've put them and I put a number here. Okay, it's the same thing if I put zeros. If I put zeros before a number. So like if I've got 0, 0, 0, 0, 8, okay, and let's say we even put 0.2 or something, these zeros have no value. I've not changed this from 8.2. So the reason why I bring that up is when you go to add things and you need to put zeros there to just see them, you're not changing the value. When you do change the value, as soon as you put a number out here. So now these zeros have value. It's marking the space of 700,008. If those zeros weren't there, and I put a 7, then it's 78.2. It's not 700,000 and 8.2. So those zeros don't have value until I put a number there. So up to this point, they didn't, they didn't change anything. As soon as I put a number, they change. Okay. So when you're going to add things and, and put zeros, just keep that in mind. And like I said, you can rewatch that. I know that was... Like, oh, especially when you add it on to the other things we talked about. But I wanted, to, I wanted to explain that so that you know when I'm adding zeros and when I'm not. So let me do a couple practice problems, and then I'll put your problems that you're going to do for your assignment. So let's say I've got, um, let me do 18.6 plus 1.75. And let me do uh, 18, I don't know why I keep using 18, plus... Uh, 1.92, and then let me do, won't do 18, let's do 173 plus 0 0.04. So those three problems I'm going to do real quick. If you want to pause it and try them on your own first, see if they came out right, you can do that. But 18.6, okay, plus $1.75 or 1.75. I line up my decimals. Okay, I lined up the decimals, put everything else in space. I'm going to put a zero here so I know what I'm adding there. I can put one here if I wanted to. Remember, it doesn't matter how many I put in front. But I don't usually put it here, but I do put one here. Zero plus five. Okay, that's a five. Ooh. There we go. Six plus seven is 13. That's three, carry my one. 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 1 more is 10. My decimal's here. 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 1 is 10. And I carry that, and I have 2. So 20.35. So if you think about that, $18.60 plus $1.75 is $20.35, if you're you know, speaking in money terms. Okay? All right, now the 18 plus $1.92. Okay, 18 is a whole number, so the decimal goes here at the end, and then the 1.92 lines up there. I lined up the decimals. I'm gonna put some zeros here so I know what I'm adding. Two plus nine, or two plus zero, nine plus zero, and 18 plus one is nine, one. So $18 plus a dollar 92 is 1992, which was a great year, by the way. Uh, Give you a chance to check that one. And then the last one I put up as practice is 173 plus 0 0.04. 173, decimal goes at the end, plus 0 0.04. Okay, so zero's here, four, zero, three, seven, one. So like 
I know I did most of these talking about money, but it doesn't have to be just money. 173 plus 4 cents is 173.04. Okay? All right. Now I'm going to put your practice ones on there for your daily assignment. Those that have my night class, you need to post both uh, the first video and second video. So however many pictures you need to send to cover all that, that's fine. Um, just as long as I see that you did all the practice problems and that you wrote your notes on them, okay? So uh, basically you'll be turning in both assignments uh, from yesterday and today. Well, it's weird because you're watching them on the same day, but the first video, the March 30th one and the March 31st one, you're posting here, okay? For those that are in the day class, you will post this one on March 31st. So you're going to add 36.2. 4.9 and then I'm going to let you line these up the rest of the way 52.8 plus 3.68 uh, let's see I'll go ahead and mark these number 3 is 17 plus 8.62 number 4 is 507.8 plus 92.8 and number five is 0 0.08 plus 19. That's 19 as a whole number. And number six is 5.02 plus 0 0.0048. Always make the last one a little challenging, okay? So those problems here will be for this daily assignment and uh, just make sure you're lining them up, line them up by the decimals, and go from there.